So today I've got my fancy little machine out here that I made. And what am I doing? Today, I am sifting my ash. Now, I like to use ash, some diatomaceous, and sand. And I found myself hand sifting a lot of stuff. Um, kind of became a lot of work, a chore. You know, one coop, eh, wasn't too bad. Two coops, started spending a lot of time doing it. Three coops, then four. That's eight dust baths I have to clean, eight dust baths I have to mix. So that means that's more stuff that I'm having to sift out. You know, right now it's cool weather. So I take advantage of it and I sift my ash out so I can save it. You know, this past year, I used about a full bucket. And what's amazing is because I'm not doing this by hand with a little sifter, I'm not wasting as much of the ash either because it's not getting blown away. This keeps a lot of the dust down and makes it very efficient. So, I think what I'm gonna do is do another one of these. So I've been out here, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes and I'm just about done with this entire bucket. And I have been doing some other stuff as well while this has been running. But it really does cut down on time, just kind of the labor and it's just all about efficiency when you have a whole lot of the chores you got to do. got a little peephole here As you can see yeah, there's a little bit left in there but for three scoops it does a pretty fast job now this bucket is already almost full but what are we gonna do next I'm gonna wrap up I've got about maybe two more runs I've got to do with this something I'm not liking is how noisy it is yes it's, this has made my life much easier but I'm thinking about redesigning this little lid. This is just where I took a bucket lid, cut it, you know, got me a sifter to put in here. But I'm really thinking about getting a piece of wood, cutting a hole and getting a large funnel and maybe securing it on here. Make a lot less noise and I could just auto feed it in here. Might be one of my next projects here soon because I definitely love this idea. Making life, again, much easier. So, I'm gonna wrap this up. Then we're gonna get some of the dust baths and we're gonna get those sifted. Got our ash sifted. Now, we got a couple of dust baths we gotta we got clean up. Let me show you how bad these are. It's been about two weeks since I've last sifted them out and they really love their dust baths. Let me show you this. If you look down in there, what I love about the dust baths is that ash, sand, and diet to make sure it's, it really clumps up the poo and it keeps the eggs clean when they lay in these. But I wanna save a lot of this. It's reusable. All we gotta do now is get it cleaned up and sift it. All right, we got a half gallon of sand and poo in here. A little bit of moisture got in this. We've had a lot of humidity here lately, but it's still reusable. Let's get this poured in here. And that, how about half filled it up? Probably a little bit more than what I need to put in there, but. Yeah, that was almost half. Let's see how fast it sifts out half of it.
really loud that fast. That's a lot of poo nuggets in there. <clears throat> and that's okay. Sifts out the feathers, debris, stuff they kick in there. And what does that do? Gives us nice, clean dust bath again for these guys. And it's that quick. You know, and it's reusable. Saves you time, extends the life of it. But, let's get these finished up and get our birds some clean dust bath. All right, got these cleaned up. This one uh, isn't going to be in use for a few more weeks, so I went ahead and mixed it into one of these other ones. I'm going to be hatching some new birds, fingers crossed. So that pen over there is going to be empty. And plus, we're going to clean it out. You know, when you're breeding birds, they build up a lot of poo. But amazing job, does it efficiently. Might be working on this lid, do a little different design in the future, but love this auto sifter so far, making life much easier. Thanks for watching Practical Junk. Hope this idea helps somebody out. Definitely is helping me, my day-to-day -day quail chores, and many other things. Guys, y'all have a great day.